Welcome to this Sage Business Cloud Accounting demo. In this video, you will be shown how to configure foreign currency, set up foreign contacts, and process foreign currency transactions in Sage Accounting. Sage Accounting allows you to conveniently process foreign currency invoices, credit notes, payments, and receipts using live exchange rates or manual rates. When using foreign currency transactions, the system automatically tracks gains or losses on exchange rate. Please note that at this time, foreign currency bank accounts are not supported in Sage Accounting. First, let's activate and configure foreign currencies. From the settings page, we click Currencies. Here, you can activate the option to enable foreign currency transactions. By default, the Live Exchange Rates option is activated. These rates are updated daily from the Federal Reserve System. If you prefer to enter exchange rates manually, you can disable the Live Exchange Rates option. In our case, we will use Live Rates. In the table, you may disable a currency by clicking the Delete icon. Here, we will not be using the Mexican Peso. You may also use the drop-down menu to add an additional currency. In our case, we'll add the Euro. Finally, confirm or modify the ledger accounts that will be used to record bank charges related to foreign transactions, exchange rate gains and exchange rate losses. These accounts will be selected and updated automatically when recording a foreign currency receipt or payment. When you're finished, click Save. Once foreign currencies have been configured, customers and vendors can be set up with a currency of your choice. We'll click Contacts. We'll start by adding a customer in the US. Click New Customer and begin entering information like you normally would. Notice that their address is in the United States. Click the Defaults tab to select a currency. Instead of Canadian dollar, we select US dollar for this customer. Then click Save. Let's click New Vendor to repeat the steps with a vendor. This vendor is located in France. Again, we click Defaults and we change the currency, this time to Euro. Then we click Save. If we click on an existing customer or vendor, their currency will be listed under the Options tab. It can be modified using the Edit button as long as no transactions have been recorded. Now we will create an invoice for our customer in the US. From the plus symbol we select Sales Invoice. As soon as we select our US customer, information appears about the exchange rate. Note that even though we are using live exchange rates, it is possible to manually update the rate as needed. You should create the invoice as usual. Here we are shipping bags of topsoil. All the amounts are displayed in the customer's currency of US dollar. If you use products and services, your save price or rate is automatically converted using the exchange rate. The totals are also displayed in Canadian dollars for your convenience. Let's save this invoice. After the invoice is saved, it can easily be displayed using your customer's currency or your home currency. Let's record a receipt for this invoice. The receipt should be recorded from this page or from the banking module. In our case, we click the plus symbol and we choose Customer Receipt. Select the customer the bank account the funds were deposited into, the payment method and the date received. Like in the invoice, the exchange rate populates automatically but can be modified if necessary. Here we can modify the rate to ensure it matches the one used by the bank. If there were additional bank charges, they can be entered here. Then we select the invoice. Note that the exchange rate used for the invoice and the exchange rate used for the payment are different. As a result, a gain or loss will be automatically recorded with this transaction. Let's click Save. Now let's create a purchase transaction. From the plus symbol, we click Vendor Bills. We can then select our European vendor and enter information about the bill in Euro. Here again, we notice that all the amounts are displayed in Euro. The total is also displayed in Canadian dollars. Let's click Save. Now we will immediately record a payment for this bill. From the plus symbol, we choose Vendor Payment. 
select the vendor, the bank account, the payment method and the date. Again, the rate can be adjusted based on the rate used by your bank. Bank charges can be entered if needed. We can then select the bill we are paying and click Save. Finally, now that we've recorded a few transactions using foreign currency, let's have a look at the gain and loss on exchange rate, which was recorded automatically. The easiest way to check is to select Profit and Loss from the Reporting menu. On the report, locate the exchange rate gain or loss in the Expenses section. To view the transactions that make up this value, click the account. The general ledger report is displayed with a summary of each transaction. We can find both our customer receipt and our vendor payment. Congratulations! You now know how to configure foreign currency, set up foreign contacts and process foreign currency transactions in Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Thank you.